but it's still up on sunset. Yeah, That's my it. clue. Not bad. Okay, tell us about the upcoming documentary on religion. Does it have a title? Because you once said religion is stupid. That's not no, the that, title. Is no, it? no, I was kidding. Uh, I think the title is going to be Religulous. Religulous. That's a ridiculous. <laughs> Barack Guy directed it. That's right, Larry Charles, the brilliant Larry Charles, who directed Borat. Um, he uh, he is he's the director. So what's the concept? When does it come out? Well, it should come out at Easter. I'd like it out right at the time that people are celebrating these and spacemen flying terrible. up to oh, heaven. Yeah. What's that? Movie. Oh yes, absolutely. Lionsgate is releasing it. I think it's going to unleash a uh, a great torrent of energy in support of this proposition. Because is it the atheist view of religion? Well, yes. I mean, it's certainly the doubter's view, you know. Um, how much of an atheist a person is. Uh, even I, who am not a believer, say, look, I can't know. My main proposition is I don't know. And therefore, if some other human being tells me or anybody else <clears throat> what happens when you die, my answer to them is, I don't know what happens when you die. So how do you know? The answer is, you don't know. So to purport to present yourself as someone who can tell in such great detail, and the detail is amazing, isn't it, about what happens when you die? You know, we have to get away from a, a system of faith. Mitt Romney always says, you know, we need a person of faith in the White House. They all would say the same thing who are running for president. No, we need a person of doubt in the White House. Stop with the faith and start with the doubt. So doubt you give, is me, give me what I will see. Do you talk to religious leaders? What? Oh, we talked to everybody. We went everywhere. We went to every place where there's religion. You know, we went to Vatican City, and we went to Jerusalem, and we went to Salt Lake City. And, uh, you know, I think I've insulted everybody. You know, it, <laughs> it's across the board. And we got amazing access. I mean, we were at the, really? we were at the dome. I was standing right next to the rock. The Dome of the Rock, you know, where, where Muhammad flew up to heaven. Um, we were we were in that mosque, places where they'd never filmed before. The Wailing Wall, you're not allowed to have cameras. Inside the Vatican. Uh, we just found out that even though the sign says you're not allowed to enter here, there's so many tourists with cameras and such. And nowadays, when you make a documentary like this, it's kind of guerrilla shooting. You don't need a big crew. You just pretend you're tourists and you're shooting, and then you can make a movie. Is this like Michael Moore, in a sense? Well, I would never compare myself to Michael Moore, because first of all, he's a genius. He does what he does incredibly well. Um, but I but think this is a type. I think this is a, a top. I, you know, I, I hope that people laugh. We've shown 10 minutes. That's all we have so far. We're still cutting it together. But the 10 minutes that we've shown, I've seen it shown to audiences twice. They laugh so hard, because the topic of religion is just so inherently funny. I mean, politicians are funny because they promise things that they can never deliver on. And the gap between what they promise and what they deliver is great fodder for humor, as people from Mark Twain up into our own day have, have demonstrated. But what religious people promise? Your own planet? <laughs> I mean, come on, that's, that's, that's a little beyond Social Security. We'll get a break and we'll be right back.